You got to give this guy credit. The Honky Tonk Man will do anything in his power to walk away with a win. Yeah, even if it's against the rules. Not sure we should be giving him credit for that. This one has all the makings of a dream match, Michael. And approaching the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 278 pounds, D'Lo Brown. This one's going to be electric. Sometimes a superstar just has that special connection with the fans, and that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. There's no telling what these competitors will do in Extreme Rules, but I can guarantee we're about to find out. D'Lo Brown is locked up. Oh, look at that. And that implement connects again. It's no secret that I'm not the world's biggest Honky Tonk Man really? fan. Yeah, I think that honor actually goes to Honky Tonk Man himself. But I do appreciate his economical style in that ring. He's not flashy. He just comes at you with a series of well-executed, traditional wrestling moves. That's it. The range of emotions here is startling. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. I know. I, I mean, I got goosebumps. This match is going to be so unpredictable. I just can't wait. It's over. That's got to be it. Oh, usually when someone decides this action has gotten completely out of control. When it comes to Honky Tonk Man's offense, I have to agree with you, King. Less is more. Close lines, scoop slams. Fist drops, it's that easy. Yeah, where do you think he learned that fist drop from? And if none of that works, he turns to some old reliable tactics. Anything can confined across his opponent's back. I can tell you now, how many times, how many times, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where do you think he learned that fist drop from? And you know what, Cole, if none of that works, he turns to some old reliable tactics, like anything he can find across his opponent's back. I can tell you how many times I've seen him resort to that. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. I'm not sure I can watch this. Honky Tonk Man is on a roll. Much to the delight of nobody. It doesn't get more painful than that. Oh, well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation. Wow, what a move from Honky Tonk Man. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. Tilo Brown is such a showman. It seems like he'll have an early pin attempt. Come on, Riff, count. Three. It's over. It's all over. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. Here's your winner, the Honky Tonk Man. And that's a huge win for this guy. This guy impressed the hell out of me tonight, Michael. What a victory. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, the ECW champion, Cactus Jack. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I. And approaching the ring from Belfast, Northern Ireland, weighing in at 233 pounds, Fit Finley. What a reaction from the WWE Universe. I can't hear myself think. Calling this one's going to be a real treat, Michael. And I know you feel the same way. Yep, so does King. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. Working for control. Into the tie-up they go, but who's going to end up with the upper hand? Well, I think it's too difficult to tell, even from this angle. They're struggling for control right now. Oh, struggle is right, Cole. This is really back and forth. Guys, of all of Mick Foley's faces, I'd have to say Cactus Jack is the most unpredictable. I mean, you never know what he's going to do in the ring. And you know what? I'm not so sure he even knows what he's going to do in there. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. is as impressive as we've ever seen Cactus Jack look. King, I think you're right about something you said earlier. More often than not, I think Cactus Jack is operating on instinct. He doesn't blueprint the carnage he inflicts on his opponents. It just comes naturally. And even more scary is Cactus Jack's complete disregard for his own well-being. He doesn't care how much pain he absorbs as long as he's dishing out even more to his opponent. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. And into the cover. Good job getting to the ropes there. Cactus Jack with the offense.
These guys giving this sold out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. This can be dangerous. He can't stay in this situation long. And again, Fit Finley pours on the aggression. Speaking of a disregard for his own well-being, how many times have you seen Cactus Jack introduce thumbtacks into a match just to be the one that gets driven into them? <gasps> You'd think he'd learn by now. I know. I don't think it's a matter of learning. I just don't think he cares. He doesn't feel pain like the rest of us, Cole. Makes the cover. Two. Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Finley's one tough customer, and he's proving that right now. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they can compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. He's in full-on attack mode now. You know, here's a guy in Finley that spent two decades absolutely destroying the competition over in Europe before coming over to the United States in 1996. And when he got here, he just packed his jack, hit that one. The shoulders are down. Two. And a kick out. Well, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Whoa. I thought that was the end of Finley. But I guess not. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Finley first targeted Lord Steven Regal when he got to the States in 1996. And boy, did those two go on to have some amazing matches in WCW. The shoulders are down! Two. And he escapes with a kick out. Finley's one tough customer, and he's proving that right now. Plenty of can't-miss TV on Thursday, but nothing more can't-miss than this broadcast of WWE television. Oh, that might dislocate the shoulder. He's setting it up. We've seen this before. Stump pole pile driver. Oh, man. I haven't pulled a stump in forever. When I see him attack the arm, it reminds me of how WWE Hall of Famer Arn Anderson would incapacitate an opponent's arm. Yeah, they actually should have called him Arm Anderson. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Boy, he just got laid out. You see it all in WWE, biting, scratching, and punching like right there. Those are all the moves you used on me in our WrestleMania match, Cole. A crippling slam to the mat. Whoa, show that move to anyone thinking of getting into this business. I guarantee you they'll think twice about it. Look at that. There it is. With this severe pressure directly applied to the ligaments, we could see a sub his shoulders are down. Two. And there are the ropes. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Ah, uh, he's going to work. How 
much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Can he score the pin? Of all the faces in the car. Man, he's got to feel great. Oh, boy. That was a spectacular performance. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. Here's your winner, Cactus Jack. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.